How Not to Die on Mars, Part 3, CO2 Scrubber and Sabatier Reactor. So, you're heading to Mars. Get ready for the upcoming challenges by participating in this remote introductory course. Today's topic will explain how to extract oxygen and not suffocate on Mars. Every responsible colonist should ensure that the inside of their base can be safely inhabited without a helmet and that they have a supply of oxygen. The CO2 scrubber is the primary source of oxygen in the base, which converts spare carbon dioxide into oxygen. Operating the device may be difficult for novice colonists. However, if they follow a few simple rules, the risk of oxygen deprivation or an explosion will be minimal. Rule number one. Electrical devices require adequate power supply. The CO2 scrubber will not work if the base does not have sufficient power connected. Rule number two. A damaged electronic control board will prevent the device from working. Rule number three. Due to the need for prudent use of electrical energy, the power consumption by the machine should be as low as possible. Rule number four. When adjusting the scrubber settings, try to aim for the highest possible oxygen generation value. Rule number five. Keep the device temperature below 100 degrees Celsius. Higher temperature is dangerous and will cause an explosion if the safe value is exceeded. The font color on the display will change to red if this occurs. Rule number six. Don't forget about the start and stop buttons on the display. Only press the start button when you are sure that the values you have set are safe. Rule number seven. Use the levers and valves to regulate the CO2 scrubber and experiment with settings to achieve the best values. When the CO2 scrubber generates the appropriate amount of oxygen, you can refill your bottles. The mechanics are analogous to a small CO2 scrubber. In addition to oxygen, the CO2 scrubber can also refill bottles with carbon dioxide needed for the compressor. The CO2 scrubber is an additional equipment. To build it, you need a building that is adapted to it, such as a workshop or main HQ. Don't forget that plants on Mars, just like those on Earth, generate oxygen too, so it's worth taking care of healthy crops, including plants that do not provide food. A dome full of oxygen-producing trees will not only serve a practical purpose but will also delight many colonists, positively affecting mental health. Another way of generating oxygen for more advanced colonists is to build a sabatier reactor, an expansion for wells. Each well has two slots for expansion. Note you cannot build an expansion for a well if the well is not completed. When you have the appropriate infrastructure for expansion, follow the standard construction procedures. The Sabatier reactor will only work properly if you add the appropriate tank to it and supply an additional 5 kilowatts of energy to the well. The Sabatier reactor can generate oxygen or methane, depending on which tank you choose. Generating methane is useful for colonists using a jetpack, which requires oxygen and methane to operate. After successfully attaching the expansion with the tank, you can refill oxygen bottles from the well panel and connect oxygen directly to the base socket using a pipe.